up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. I know I haven't been posting as much as I used to since I got to college, but I've just been insanely busy with all the stuff that's been going on. A lot of big mile markers like move-in day and the first day of classes and all this other stuff that's been going on, I just didn't have the chance to film. So in the next couple of videos, I decided I'm gonna take a step back tell you guys the story of all these big things that have been happening over the last three weeks. And I have some pictures to go along with it too. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about move-in day here at Yale. Stay tuned till the end for a big announcement I'm really excited about. This was one of the most stressful and jam-packed days I've had in a long time. But hey, it was fun. So if you guys recall, I was on a seven-day backpacking trip with my ROTC detachment, and move-in day co-aligned with the very last day of the hiking trip. So the day of move-in day, I was woken at 4 a.m. in the morning, and I was sleeping in this shelter in the middle of the Berkshires in Massachusetts. We woke up gathered all of our gear, everything that we had, all of the leftover food, all of our own personal hiking gear at 4 a.m. in the morning when it was still completely pitch black, loaded it up on our backs and hiked a mile uphill to get to the pickup point. From there, we were caravaned like four people at a time in this tiny little car to get to the Berkshire's Visitor Center. Once we all got to the Visitor Center, we loaded up onto a big charter bus and began our trip home to Yale. Keep in mind, this was the first time that I was able to check my phone a whole week long. So it was just completely blown up with notifications. Emails, texts, YouTube notifications. Like while I was on the foot trip, I hit a thousand subscribers and that was crazy. But like just a couple days ago, we hit 4K. So the growth is crazy. We set up a group meet chat for everyone that was on the foot trip so we could keep in contact with each other once we all got to Yale and started doing our own things. Of course, we followed everyone's social medias. It was, it was really weird because like on the foot trip, the only concept of people you have is you know the conversations you have while you're hiking and their own personal stories that they tell you and everything but you actually have no idea what they're actually like in the real world so it was kind of funny stalking everyone's instagram and social media to see who they actually were as we began getting closer to yale i mean this was a two-hour bus ride i really began to feel a little bit anxious not gonna lie i was just there were just so many emails from the rotc detachment and the registrars here at yale about like getting your courses together and I had no idea what I was gonna take and I had like a tentative schedule due in five days and I was just kind of overwhelmed and nervous. So the bus was set to get back to Yale at 10 a.m. but my mom wasn't gonna get to Yale with my stuff till 12. So I had to figure out something to do for two hours. Finally, the bus pulled into Old Campus and all the foot leaders led us in the singing of the Yale fight song before we got off the bus. Um, we unloaded, we grabbed all of our stuff and brought it back to the same spot we originally met on old campus on the first day. So that was really cool. We got one more umgala in, which is like where we all like got around with our arms around each other and just swayed and said umgala. I know it's weird, it's, it's just a foot thing that we did. I got some free ice cream from the chaplain's office and grabbed all my stuff and began walking over to TD because keep in mind, most freshmen do live on old campus, but since I was assigned to Timothy Dwight College, I actually do live in the college itself, which is about three blocks away from old campus. So I began walking over to TD to uh, meet everyone. I remember opening the gate and just being met with a bunch of smiling faces. Everyone's super excited for me to be there. They handed me my ID and my room key and I walked over and found my room. I got there and my roommate Jake was already there and had already unpacked most of his stuff. So that was good. I had some space to work. Um, you guys, remember Jake from like the last two magic videos he's also another magician actually the Dean came by on move-in day and said hey um, I intentionally roomed both of you together because you both said you did magic on your housing forms so <laughs> I thought that was really cool also keep in mind I haven't showered in a week so I smell really bad I haven't shaved and yeah I wasn't in the best position to start meeting new people so luckily Jake lended me some shampoo and I went and jumped in the shower almost immediately. A couple hours later, my mom and two of my brothers show up with all my stuff. I go down there to meet them and the TD moving crew already has like loads of giant wheelbarrows like that they're loading my stuff into and they're taking it all up to my room for me. I barely had to carry anything, that was awesome. Got back up to my room with my family. My family met Jake's family and everything, that was really nice. Um, and I began unloading and unpacking all my stuff and setting up this room the way it is now. As you guys saw in the room tour video, um, I think I set it up pretty well. After that, we made a trip to Target to pick up all the stuff that we didn't have enough space to bring here or that we had forgot, you know, lamps, whiteboards, um, fridge, microwave, all that stuff. And then after the Target run, we went out to dinner, my whole family. And we walk into this restaurant and we literally see four other ROTC people that were on my foot trip. 
all eating at the same restaurant. So that was a really great dinner. It was nice that my mom got to meet all the people that I had been spending the last week with. Eventually though, after dinner, um, I got dropped right back off at TD and began my first night at Yale. I'm not gonna go into detail about uh, all the stuff that went on that night, but let's just say it was pretty crazy and I had a lot of fun. All right guys, that is the story of my move-in day here at Yale. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry I couldn't film anything during the actual day, but hopefully this makes up for it kind of. So the big announcement is that I now have my Yale PO box set up, which means if you guys wanna send any personal letters or mail to me, you can now do that. So I'm gonna put the PO box address right up here and I'll also probably leave it in the description. If that's something you guys are interested in, if you've been enjoying my videos that much, feel free to send me anything. All right, that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, drop a like and hit that big red subscribe button to support more content in the future. As always, I'll be back again, hopefully, in a couple of days with another video. See you guys soon.